Well, child, I hope you're feeling better than you did yesterday. I just came to warn you. There's a powerful fan of you in our cult. I know there is, lass. Powerful fear of the truth wherever it travels. Now, where's your young friend who enjoys hiding in the bushes with you? He was here eavesdropping on me again, evening last. I don't know. His pa's the one so hard set against you. That would be broken car, would it? Yes, sir. He paid me a visit when I first come. A man acquainted with anger. Those who despise the word of the Lord will not stand in the day of judgment, for the breath of the Lord will blow them away like chaff. Well, anyway, I just came to warn you. I got to be getting back. At least do me the honor of knowing your name. Cardi. Cardi Forbes. Well, Miss Cardi Forbes. My earthly name is not important. All that matters is I am a humble servant of God come to redeem these wicked mountains. Will you sit and hear the word of the Lord? I, I best not. It's not safe, Paul. It's not safe. It is the Lord who giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. And he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servant. And none who trust in him shall be desolate. None of this makes any sense to you, does it? No, sir. Why are you so heavy burdened, child? If you tell me what ails you, perhaps I can help. I don't think so. The sin eater can't cure me, then no one can. Sin eater? And who might that be? He's the one chosen from among us, who lives all by himself on Dead Man's Mountain. After a person has passed, he takes our sins upon himself so that they can rest in peace. And you believe this? Doesn't everybody? I went to him and asked to take my sins away. But he can't help me until I pass on. Child, what could you have done to merit such shame? Can I say? Nothing you could have done could make the Lord love you any more or any less. If I tell you, will you promise not to hate me? As the Lord has loved me, so will I love you. I killed my sister, Ellen, my baby sister. Now I'm doomed to live all my life knowing that she's not here because of me. Knowing that my mom's heart is broken and it's all my fault. Tell me how it happened, child. So Kirsty, from the very beginning, Granny made me a rag doll and Ellen wanted it. Let go, it's mine! Let go, I was playing with it first! Then let go, you little brat! It's mine! Granny made it for me! Ah! Bobby! How dare you hit your little sister! Ma. You are being selfish and you know it. You don't deserve this doll. You always let her have everything she wants! I hate her! And I hate you!
screamed, but it was too late. There was nothing I could do. I went down below to look for her. I kept screaming her name, hoping she'd come up. But she never did. Oh, Kathy. There's some sorrow so deep. Only God can touch them. No mere man can take away your sins, child. You see, there's already been a sin eater. The original sin eater that the Lord God sent long, long ago to take away all of our sins once and for all. And this book, this book tells all about him. Will you tell the Sunita how sorry I am? Will you ask him to forgive me? You just did. Beautiful girl, you just did. And now your heart is washed clean of all the black marks this world has ever given it. All that you could ever give in. Yes. His name is Jesus. <laughs>